last episode. Video got uploaded late. Why? Because Silpha's chesticles, a single, single thing just the size of Lloyd's head, even surpassing it, that's what got me limited as. I hope today's not the same. I might. Apparently, there's a little bit more fan service. I don't really know, but, you know, apparently show the fan service is fine. But the moment that Sofa gets her fucking jugs out, where's the gender equality, man? Now, what was going on at the end of the last episode? We're fighting this, like, random demon thing, and Sofa's going all out. But the most important thing is Lloyd is, like, practicing magic transmutation. I don't really know what it means, but he can, like, create different objects and shit like that. And I think we're about to see the fruits of his labor. Let's begin today's episode. Sofa looking cool as usual. Lloyd fucking around. Dude, he looks so much like Rudy here. Right? Robert is straight up the spitting image of Rudy. He even has the gray rat ponytail. What is this, miasma? Sofa, no! How could this? <laughs> I, you, you actually got to see her ass cheek there. You see it? Do you see it? The back of her dress went up. It, sorry, yeah, it's, it's, it's Albert. or It's Albert, not Robert. I get the names confused. But look, 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 look the booty cheek here. You can actually see it, bro. Okay. Steel of the shrine broken. The demon fucking OP now. No! Lloyd, where you at? My asthma of domination. Well, if more people are getting injured and they pass out, that means that Lloyd can now go all out because all out, there's no witnesses. <laughs> she's still what the fucking you smelly joke, man. But her entire thing is fucking breathing techniques. How can she be standing? The demon is angry and stinky. Ain't your own business? So plus an independent, strong girl, huh? A lot of blood. Please save Lloyd. Sofa survived the miasma. Bigger dose than everyone else. Wait, wait, wait. Was he playing with her hair there? He was! He look! The demon! He's fucking fucking playing with Aru's hair! No, Aru! The breathing technique withstands my asthma. I thought it would fuck her up because she relies on breathing techniques. <laughs> she only cares about hotties. What kind of martial arts is this? Just straight up fucking Kamehameha. Different demon? Different monster. The hottie might be a, not that kid. Uh, we don't talk about him anyways. The demon's voice acting is actually so good. Listen, he's kind of funny. Mind control, bro, come on. You can't go for that fucking hell with that creepy shit, bro. The air is thick with your nastiness, but I can still feel him. Yeah, I feel something too right now. Lloyd? Lloyd? The transmute? Lloyd? Lloyd! Yes, this 10 year old child. Where is he? No! Aru! Lloyd, where you at? Why is her belly button? No, that was the punch. I'm like, why is her belly button like... <laughs> belly button looks like a fucking bussy, too. <laughs> like, straight up. Look at it. It's even got like the marks around the edge. <laughs> this is the only show they would fucking make Sofa's belly button look like a bussy by getting her injured there. I'm not crazy, right? I'm not crazy, right? This is intentional, right? You look at this. What do you think? <laughs> What is he doing? Bro! Ew. Marinate! One thing. What is that? Not, 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 not the bussy belly button, but like this. What is this? 
Because, like, the miasma's there, and this is a white panty. But there is this triangular shape, and I think that they're trying to tell us that, you know, Silva may have... <laughs> Do I need to tell you guys? Do I... Do I need to say it? If I, I cannot be too descriptive or I'm gonna get demonetized. Or maybe she did intensely shave and then she liked the landing strip like that. <laughs> Triangle. That's fucked up, Mr. Demon. Did we just change that dog? And that's where that dog is from, because in the opening, we, on the opening or the ending, I've, I've seen something like this. Did he, did Lloyd just tame it? That was the dog that was just e eating sulfur, right? No, 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 Aru, right? That's that, is that the same one? That's the only dog that was there. But it's got like spots there. Th 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 this also has some spots here. Anyway, is, is that the dog? Lloyd just like tamed it after he was like, nothing can be tamed to defy me? Huh? Uh, he doesn't care about that. Yo, yeah, why can't you? Main character. Main character. Yeah. Grimoire. Grimoire's getting roasted! It is cute though. No, it's not the same dog. Cause like you see the dog right over here, right? This is the spotted dog that, you know, swallowed Aru. Where did the other dog go? That huge dog. Let Lloyd handle it. Alright, what is mana transmutation really? Manifest some kind of liquid like form? Like, what is it? What are you creating? Flowers? Magic transmutation is a fucking genjutsu. He tamed them all! Okay, Aru is still swallowed by the way. I think Grim is a little affected too. Grim is actually a lot more docile, right? Oh, the flower is carefully covering her. The liquid doesn't really help though. The, the sticky goo. Yeah, transmutation, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, he literally laughed at them saying, Oh my god, I killed your parents, you fucking idiots. I guess we got new pets, new familiars later. Not the cute dogs. Well, they're cute now. No, you killed their parents. He must have missed episode one. Maybe it's time to change history? Can we provide our own mana instead? He going crazy! Oh. Oh, we go with domain expansion. Because his own mana is just better? So he's been doing the Frida and shit, hiding our mana. Our mana. Bro, Lloyd is like fucking grasping this Pazuzu demon guy as if it's like the palms of Buddha right now, dude. Okay, that's a new look. That's a fucking new look. Actually all out. Do the eyes that it just has skulls in it? So we can fuck you up inside the barrier? Sometimes the Lloyd faces are actually really good, right? We've seen a couple of these where he goes just fucking all out. His hair just being unleashed like this looks like some Super Saiyan 3 shit. Maybe you'll turn into like Grim, like a cute little familiar. <laughs> the voice actor for Pazuzu is actually so good. 20? Yeah, Grim, get in my palm. Do your thing, Grim. Holy shit, that's a lot of golf balls, man. They really do look like golf balls. I'm surprised he's been able to dodge all this. This is actually impressive. 
This animation budget. Actual domain expansion. Yo! It, it, that was his plan the entire time. All these different barriers formed this final structure at the end. Grim looks so tired. I feel like the yeah, lab animal, or like we just make him into like another cute familiar like Grim. Let's do some experimentations on him. High speed casting. Basically, saying a lot faster, right? <laughs> you folded so quick there. He just wants more power. More mana, more magic. Yo, could he die? This is gonna be a fun experiment. I'm just gonna assume that's a bunch of Latin. Every element! Grim is passed out. Holy shit. It just looks like a fucking acid trip. 240 times 30, what is that? 240, uh, 3 times 4 is 12. Put 2 there, carry 1 over. 3 times 2 is 6. 1, so 70, a 2, and then you add 0, 0. 7200! 7200! How's my mental math there? Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. It was, a, it was a little slow. It was a little slow. I had to think about it for a second, but I got it. So, you just getting gang banged by 7,200 7, spells, and is he good now? Is he alive? Are you good? No, 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 he's breathing. I can hear him. Okay. It's like a flashbang? Huh. Well, demons are like, they come with like infinite mana, right? Or well, not an infinite, but they do have a lot of mana. They just can't die by magic. It's like flashbangs. You good, bro? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He's talking about the other monsters in his plans. <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> this face is so fucking cheeky, bro. He doesn't give a fuck about your centuries worth of prep. <laughs> oh, shit. He can't be cool anymore. We gotta hide under. Who beat this thing then? No, he's actually disintegrating behind the scenes. Straight up, just like fucking Dimple and Mob Psycho, bro. Actually, Grimm's before he turned into this the voice actor was Dimple's voice actor, right? He never fucking did this shit. He's just like, oh, one day I'll take care of you. And then he turned out to be the biggest fucking glazer, the biggest homie. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get stronger? Ah, Roberto, the hottie, right? Aru's boyfriend, right? Interesting though that Grim sucked him in and he got stronger there. Wonder if that had any future implications. It's not over yet. It's the intermission scene. And now we do a little intermission scene, right? Yes, this thing. People love Albert here. Okay, we're coming back home from slaying Pazuzu, I think. Bro is snoozing. He's cute, but... Guys! You better be fucking underage too, because you're thirsting over a 10-year-old kid right now. What are you doing?! Uh. <laughs> That's my 10-year-old kid. Nobody touches him but me. God damn, I'm so funny. <laughs> Probably the best uh, omake. That's what it's called. Nice. Promotion! Yo, are we gonna get rewards? Because we got Lloyd. Roberto, uh, is busy. Yeah. Sure. Take the jack. Oh no, she gets to keep it? Roberto You know what we need to do? You know how we had like a cloning ability or something with Grim? Well we didn't even need to have Grim harbor that body anymore. I think it's just a straight up just like an, an autonomous clone. Why don't we like make that like age up and look like Roberto? And then Aru can have her boyfriend in peace. Roberto! Actually true. He carries. 
This is now getting juicy because he's the second prince. And I was like, you know, in, when, in terms of succession war going for thrones, if he's the seventh prince, there's implied that there's minimum six other princes, right? We haven't seen all the other princes yet, but if we start talking about succession stuff, some drama could happen. Who's the first prince? I don't think anyone could compete with Lloyd in this family. No shot, but we haven't seen any other princes yet. He's 10. Yeah. First prince that I have seen in this like fantasy setting where he's actually humble and knows his place and he's like, you know what? I'm not the right fit. This guy is. I root for him. I've never seen a prince do that. Everybody, dude, is always out to get their own in these shows, you know? Honestly, quali qualities like him actually make him fit to be a ruler, right? Humble people that knows their role and, you know, are willing to, you know, um, put aside their egos and selfish requests for the greater good. Honestly, he should be the king by saying this. He's actually a stand-up character. Unless this is a plot twist. I doubt it. <laughs> wait, 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 where's the reaction for the king? Where's the reaction for the king? Nah. Because Bro doesn't care, right? He only cares about, like, magic research. He only cares about furthering magic. Now, if becoming a king has some kind of special access to those kind of privileges, then maybe, but I doubt he gives a fuck. <laughs> Why oh, are we going chibi mode? What are we doing? Who is that? Oh, floppy dog! But yeah, he's the bear wolf that we saw before. He's so fluffy! It's ridiculous how fluffy this thing is. Grimace competition. <laughs> you want head pads too? You, you want, you know, Lloyd to dote after you? Grim, what happened? I thought you are gonna fucking kill Lloyd after getting your powers back. <laughs> Trying to be poofy too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he got fluffy. <laughs> oh, hello, Silpha. <laughs> and we hide Grim. Shiro, white. <laughs> Why the kneecaps always so shiny? No, I already know the answer. We already, you guys already asked me the question in episode one. We answer why the kneecaps are shiny. Sofa's titties or the shoulders, they're also the same color. Just, just so you know. Complex commands. So we're going to become some kind of like beast tamer? What are we doing? Oh, they're all watching us? Okay. Honestly, towards the way that he's growing, might make sense. And that's the episode. I think that this episode's gonna get delayed too. And you'll know if it gets uploaded late, right? I mean, there, there was some sussy ass shit going with Aru. There was some sussy ass shit going with Silpha. And my commentary definitely didn't fucking help either. But you know what? If it gets limited ads, it is what it is. I'm trying to give you the best reaction I can give, and sometimes I'll fucking say it. Sofa forgot to fucking shave! Uh, anyways, what was the point of today's episode? Uh, we learned about magic transmutation. Honestly, I don't fucking know what magic transmutation is. Bro just like overrode the miasma and made it into a flower bed, and then, you know, fucking befriended all the animals, and that's pretty much it. The other stuff, though, some peak power fantasy moments coming from Lloyd, like almost like a fucking domain expansion. In the span of five minutes, 72. 2,000, sorry, 7,200 spells, right? And I guess a demon can die? I'm not really sure because he was like disintegrating. But then Grim kind of sucked him up. And he did say the way that demons get damaged by mana or magic, it's almost like some kind of like, um, uh, like a flashbang, some kind of sensory stuff. But he did kind of just crumble away. So maybe it's safe to assume that Lloyd did surpass the impossible and we did kill this thing and you know Grim basically sucked him up and got a little bit more powerful and he says that one day I'm gonna kill you Lloyd and then he just folds immediately he folds immediately bro actually made himself fucking fluffy so he can get pet to Grim is just Grim, Grim is very cute everyone in the show is fucking cute it's fucking peak and I think my 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 lolly senses are tingling why because we're a couple episodes in now, and we still haven't seen the, uh, the dark skin lolly that I'm a little scary fear for because the design of her is a little bit too skimpy. So, like, I think next episode or so, here we go. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.